Okay, so I have already applied primer to my face and I use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Pro, the pure light primer. I don't know about you guys, but during the kind of colder months, my skin gets a lot more dry, a lot more dull looking, and a illuminating primer like this will just instantly kind of add that glow back to your skin. And I like to kind of stick with the same thing for my foundation choices as well. I use the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector, and I do use the one for sensitive skin because the original for some reason tends to break me out. Let me know if you have that issue as well, but this is the one for normal to dry skin. If you like a dewy finish in your foundation or your base products, you will absolutely love this. Um, if not, you can of course go for the oily skin version as well, which I am a big fan of too, actually. And I'm just gonna kind of dot it onto my face, kind of targeting the areas where I get the most redness and I kind of wanna even out the skin tone the most and just blending that in. For concealer, I'll be using another Garnier product, which is the um, Roll-On Anti-Dark Circles Concealer. Unfortunately, this product is discontinued, but it's my favorite concealer. So if you know any good products that are very similar to this, please let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna apply that on my lids because you can probably tell I get a lot of discoloration there. And then also under my eyes, just to conceal any dark circles. And to set everything, I'll be taking my favorite Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder, but I only like to apply this just to my T-zone, just so that I know that my face isn't going to get shiny throughout the day, and then also to set my concealer. Um, I don't really powder the outside of my face because I do prefer to kind of keep that nice shine that the BB cream gives. Now onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the Essence All About Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This has a really nice mix of shimmery and metallic shades as you can see. I'm going to start off by taking that light shade in the corner and applying that to the inner corner of my eyes. This will just instantly brighten them, make my eyes look a lot more away, kind of conceal the fact that you were up all night trying to finish a uni assignment. And then for all over the lid I'm just going to take that soft taupe shade there, kind of like a metallic taupe, and just pop that all over the lid. To be honest, these shadows are quite sheer, you kind of have to build it up to get a lot of colour, but I kind of prefer that um, just for an everyday look, I don't really want like really intense colours on my lid, I just kind of want to make it look natural, but still like I've put a bit of effort in. To add a bit of definition, I'm just going to take that plummy shade in the corner there, and just kind of blend that into the crease, nothing too intense, just to add a little bit of shadow to the eye and a little bit of shape. Then taking just a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to kind of smooth out any harsh lines from that shadow. The next step is to tightline the waterline, and I know not everyone is the biggest fan of this technique, but I think it really does add to the look, so if you do want to add a bit more definition to the eye look, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll be using the Maybelline Master, Pres no wait, the Maybelline Master Smoky Pencil thing. This is smudge proof, it literally will not budge, and I just like to kind of tight line on the outer corner of my eye. And to just brighten the eyes a little bit again, I'm going to go with my favourite MAC Chromographic Eye Pencil in NC15 NW20. This is a nude pencil and if you just pop it on your waterline, it'll instantly make your eyes look a lot more awake. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Smoky Eyes Mascara. So I just quickly filled in my brows and moving on to blush, I'll be using the Ila Masca Cream Blusher in Rude. Um, this is kind of a rediscovered product of mine. I've had it for ages, but for the past month I've been using it every single day. Um, you would know that if you've seen my favorites video. I'm just obsessed. I'll just be using my Real Techniques stippling brush to apply that. What I like about this product is that even if you apply too much at first, it blends out so easily. Um, I have a tendency to put on a little bit too much blush. Of course, for autumn, winter, you need a berry lip colour. So I'm going to be using the Bourjois Colour Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick. This one is in the shade 06 Plum Russian. So many of the brands have come out with these kind of lip pencils. So of course, you can just kind of have a little play around with the different shades, whatever suits you best. This particular shade suits my complexion quite well. So that's what I'm going to be using. And um, you can see it's got kind of like a glossy finish to it too, which I really like. This is so moisturising. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this autumn to winter drugstore makeup look. Quite simple, but I think really pretty and wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.